What's up, YouTube? Capital G here. Got a pretty scary duel for you guys to check out. And it's not just because the bottom hand is filled with a whole bunch of zombies. It's actually because we have an archetype that, well, I'm going to be honest, I pretty much just consistently fucking trashed this deck for the last year. In fact, I still think the deck is generally terrible. But in this duel, it is definitely not going to look terrible because you are going to see Vendreds do some scary, scary, ridiculous stuff. I'm talking about like, not even an extra link, but like, I think it's going to be maybe seven link monsters on the field turn one. Now you see the soul charge, but the soul charge is not even going to be all that powerful of a play. Kind of always comes back to Firewall Dragon, doesn't it? <laughs> he drops Slayer in the graveyard. He's going to Ritual Summon for it, and he's going to activate that soul charge, but it's only a soul charge for two. So it's not like, oh my God, can't be soul charge for five. Easy, GG, no re. Obviously it's a soul charge. No, it's just a soul charge for like two cards. So it's not even really all that powerful. But the fact that these ritual monsters, I almost called them link monsters because everything is blue now, uh, the fact that these ritual monsters do kind of uh, float when you do link summon with them is actually pretty good and Vendreds also have monsters that special summon themselves from the graveyard and really just that's a theme of zombie monsters and Yu-Gi-Oh! kind of always has been from the, the days of like tactical evolution even further back than that and once you get Firewall Dragon obviously the world is your oyster and you even get Seekits Draw Shy in one field you know new boss monster from the zombies uh from the zombie structure deck and now it's starting to actually look better and better right because at first I was looking at this link, this extra link, and I was like, okay, he's got an extra link, but it looks kind of shitty, but believe me, it's going to just get progressively better as he activates Zombie World, then he has the Solitaire on field, and he's not done yet. I believe we got, what, six link monsters, four, two, okay, yeah, we got six, but he does need that seventh link monster, he went down to five, puts Soul Charge back on the field, because activating it once ain't enough. <laughs> he brings back the Nightmare Phoenix, and then there's a Cerberus, so now, there you go, he has, uh, I believe seven link monsters on the field and the extra link is established but this might be the reason that sam was like uh cyber dragon shit on these extra link decks because you're going to see it right here and this isn't even the og cyber dragon this is the searchable tuned cyber dragon you basically just out the extra link immediately so all of that hard work basically went to uh, it went down the drain in about three seconds and he's actually the magical musketeer player is back in the game after activating that ash blossom to shut down preparation of rights and he's going to be saved right here by the endorphin this is going to double his attack and even though his monsters cannot be destroyed by battle because he has this joker on the field he's able to live through the turn because if he wasn't it definitely would have been a wrap now i don't know if you guys saw that but he did actually banish the uh the mega fleet dragon if you're wondering and now he activates the effect of this is a shooter kid and he's actually making a little bit of a comeback he's going to negate nightmare phoenix's effect and he's able to get some of those monsters off the field and this is the thing he does have Honest for his next turn, so even though all he has is a simple Casper on field, he has that Honest. Now, this guy still has all the raw damage on the field with a copy of Soul Charge set. Let's see exactly if he's going to go Battle Phase, because honestly, if you have two cards in your hand, I think I'm just going Battle Phase, dude. You got to show me that you got an Honest or that you have another copy of Endorphin. I'm just going for it. He is going to negate the uh, Origin, so he's not going to be Ritual Summoning, and he goes for the Soul Charge play instead of Battle Phase. This means that he doesn't have to worry about his opponent. Well, he doesn't have to worry about anything, but now he has Honest, and he actually just wins just with raw battle damage. Even though he had the Nightmare Phoenix live, and these monsters couldn't be destroyed by battle, doesn't even matter. I think, really, I think it was a judgment call, but I think you should have forced your opponent to use the Honest, because even if he does, if you go battle phase you let's say you lose the honest then during your next turn you probably are in a good position because your opponent doesn't have that honest unless i don't know your opponent has something weird like double honest okay you can't play around double honest that shit is just <laughs> that's just the Yu-Gi-Oh god saying that you were not going to win that duel but i believe that the um i believe that the revenger player or the avenger player should have attacked he would have got the honest out or if it was another copy of endorphin whatever it was because we know that magical musketeers they can activate their their traps and their spells from their hand he would have basically forced it out and he wouldn't have lost that turn but instead he kind of gives him another turn also he took a bunch of battle damage or he took a bunch of damage with the soul charge so that actually put him in the danger zone as well so hopefully you guys enjoyed this short duel i think we learned that extra extra link not even a problem confirmed all you got to do is just run cyber dragon in your deck and make sure you open with it <laughs> turn one every single game and if your opponent gumblar dragons you make sure that you don't discard it i'm trolling so a fucking extra link 
is cancer. I, I wish that they never made extra link a thing. But hey, play Cyber Dragons and you can at least fight back against it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the short duel. If you did, give the video a thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching. As always, subscribe if you have not already. And turn on that notification bell for daily videos.